Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the fact that I am moving. I'm going to tell you guys all about that in two seconds. Um, but first, I wanted to show you guys something that is super exciting. I'm working with FabFitFun, and I wanted to show you guys their summer box that they just released. If you don't know what FabFitFun is, it's a monthly subscription box. Look how adorable. So FabFitFun is a monthly subscription box that is $49.99 a month. Um, but what you get inside is worth over $200 each time. So that is a huge steal. Um, it's amazing because they always have the latest and greatest products inside of your box. And it's like, it's like a present you get once a month. And it's so exciting because you never fully know what's inside of it. This is their summer box. How beautiful, first of all. Can we have a minute? And this box is huge. Like, the boxes that you get are just huge. Um, you can use the code MARYJANE to get $10 off your first order. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what's inside this My Fab Fit Fun Box. You have the opportunity to customize some of the stuff that's in the box, but some of the stuff will also be a surprise for you every month. So I'm going to show you guys what's inside My Fab Fit Fun Box. So let's open the box up. Oh, it's so pretty! You guys, I can't with this box. I don't want to throw it out. It's so beautiful. So right on top here, you're gonna get a FabFitFun magazine. This one has Eva Longoria. It is an $80 gift card. $80 gift card to HelloFresh. That's so cool. I've always wanted to try HelloFresh. Inside, you're gonna get this tissue paper and oh my gosh, look how cool! Oh my goodness. So yeah, these boxes, it's amazing because these boxes are only $49.99 but the value is over $200. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so right here, I have a Sultra Beauty Marble Blow Dryer Travel Size. Oh, a travel size blow dryer. Looking like this. Oh, that's awesome. I have needed a travel size blow dryer, actually. I'm always using the blow dryers well, when I do use blow dryers, I only use blow dryers in my hotel, and sometimes they're not that, you know, that good. Let's see what this one looks like. 25% off code in here for the website. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. This is the most adorable blow dryer. Look, you guys, how adorable. It's marble and it's got that like a uh, soft uh, I don't know what to call that that soft like a velvety feel to it oh my gosh and it says it has the voltage on here everything and a little diffuser this is so cute I'm obsessed this is perfect for me absolutely perfect for me always on the go adorable I love it so cute. Woo. Okay, so that was the first thing, was the blow dryer. I'm obsessed. Oh, and it has another nozzle. I must have skipped uh, a more straight nozzle and a like a diffuser nozzle. Okay, and we have some, oh, of the hair ties. That's awesome. I use these when I'm like, you know, sectioning my hair. These are really good just to like keep in my handbag. Love these. Okay, next we have a coconut milk and verbena exfoliating foot mask. Soothes and softens intense hydration. Paraben free, sulfate free, uh, dia and tea free. So many frees. This is cool cruelty free. Leaping bunny certified. A polish and soothe feet. This is amazing for me because I love giving myself pedicures. So this is awesome. Let me smell it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, it's got that coconut milk smell. If you guys know coconuts, if you guys know me, you know coconut is my favorite fruit. It's my favorite scent. It's my favorite fruit. It's my favorite water, drink, whatever. I love coconut. This is perfect. So like you put it on your feet and you let it sit there like a mat. Use ideally at nighttime. Apply liberally. 
to the desired area and let dry. Go to bed and wake with softer feet. Rinse after 8 to 12 hours. I love doing pedicures. I know my mom's going to try to take that. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Jennifer. Oh, let me show you guys the box. Okay, and now we have some... A jewelry, a piece of jewelry. Let's see what this looks like. This is so exciting. It's like getting, like it's like Christmas. You know, and you're opening up your presents. You don't know what you're getting. Well, for me. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a dainty little necklace. Oh, I love it. How adorable is that? I love it. I'm gonna put that in my jewelry box. This thing is a living proof. I love living proof. Uh, anti frizz nourishing styling cream. That is perfect for me. Uh, stops frizz and lightly conditions. Oh, this is just like a styling cream. So, this is just like a styling cream, which is perfect. This is perfect for me to like just keep in my uh, handbag as well because uh, I'm always. I style my hair like every day, so this is perfect for me to like have on like, cause when I'm on really long flights, you guys saw I just was on a 16 hour flight from the Philippines to New York and you look crazy after those, it's like you look crazy after those 16 hour flights because <laughs> you fall asleep like you fall asleep, you wake up, you fall asleep, you wake up, you know, for when they give you your food, you fall asleep, you wake up, you fall asleep, you wake up, and you know, you're not really paying attention to what you look like, the airplane is drying out your hair, the airplane is drying out your skin, your lips, so I always have like a, a, a mini, you know, collection of all of my skincare, hair care, everything products in my handbag, in my carry-on, so that I can... Before we land, like I check when we're about to land, like an hour before I do everything. I rewash my face, I redo my skincare, I redo my hair. So this is gonna be perfect for long flights. Um, you know, for me to just keep it in my handbag because I'm always needing like a little bottle just to restyle my hair. So, okay, so the next thing is an SPF 30 makeup setting spray. Now, I don't wear makeup. Oh, and it's vegan, cruelty-free, farm-to-face, water and sweat resistant, recycle, recycle, recyclable, recyclable. I don't wear makeup. Maybe I'll give this to somebody who does wear makeup. Oh, or maybe I won't. I'm just going to give this to somebody who does wear Do I know anybody who does um, I'm gonna find somebody who wears makeup and give it to them because I don't think I can really wear this because I don't wear makeup but this is awesome if you do wear makeup it's from Kula but I think it's um, yeah it's really cool because it's an SPF and a makeup setting spray and I can see how it's a setting spray because it kind of gives you that I feel like a matty finish you know so if you're looking for like a matte finish setting spray for your makeup. Oh, rose spray. I see rose. You guys know I'm obsessed with rose. So this is from Grace and Stella. And it says it's a rose spray. You guys know how obsessed I am with rose. Like gold, sulfate free, paraben free, all of these products, which is amazing. So it shows you that FabFitFun pay attention to detail and what they put in each one of these boxes. And if you're cruelty free or you know any of that stuff, you can um, you can subscribe to FabFitFun. And now they ship to the UK, did I mention that? They ship to the UK now. Um, I think that's a new thing, they now ship to the US and the UK. I'm obsessed, hydrating facial spray. Hydrating rose facial spray. Oh, I am obsessed already. I love packaging. Look, I'm obsessed. Let's smell it.
<laughs> Why not spray on my face? Yes, yes, yes. I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh. Look at the, it's so pretty. I'm excited about this. I, I've needed this. I was wanting another uh, facial mist. So I'm glad. Okay. And the next thing I have in here is a brightening purple clay mask from Generation Clay. Cruelty free, vegan, all of that, of course. Looks like that. Oh, so it's like a purple mask and it's brightening. Ultraviolet brightening purple clay mask. I want to see if it's. I wanna see the color of the mask. Subtle purple. Yep. Oh, that's so cool. So this is gonna be really good for dark spots. Yeah, it's like a clay mask, I can tell. It's gonna be really good for dark spots. Um, I'm currently working on a video about my dark spots. Uh, I know some of you guys noticed that I'm, I was having some trouble over here. I actually had a bad reaction when I was in Malaysia um my pillow i think either they washed it with something like when i walked into my hotel room all i smelled was bleach and i'm like especially when i lay down on my pillow i think that they just kind of drenched my pillowcases in bleach and i woke up and you guys i had the biggest panic attack my the whole i kind of sleep on this side of my face this whole side of my face was red swollen and had a ton of bumps all over, over my face I started panicking I started freaking out um, and I started scratching my face and so this is a result I'm working on brightening um, and getting rid of these spots left over from that reaction and it's going pretty good actually so I'm gonna use this mask in conjunction with what I'm already doing to kind of heal my skin and clear all the dark spots um, from the scars but so I'm gonna start using that to tell you guys how it works out for me. Last thing I got, have in this box is rose gold brightening. This is all perfect for my skin right now. They're all like brightening products for your dark spots, you know? Rose gold brightening facial treatment mask. Wow, that's awesome. And these are from 111 skin or 111 skin. Okay, now my light is reflecting off of it. 24 karat gold enhances skin radiance to brighten an, an uneven skin tone. Uh, rejuvenates and nourishes lackluster skin. Um, rose gold brightening. So these have rose gold. Oh, I'm obs- There's five in here in the box. Oh, these look so heavy duty and amazing. This stuff you can tell is really good quality, really high quality and expensive products. I've definitely seen these before. I'm so excited to try. And there's five of them in here. So you guys, all the information will be down below. Um, so you can check out um, FabFitFun. Go sign up now so you can customize your own box and have an amazing surprise in the mail every month. I think that it's so cool to like have a little surprise in the mail every month for $50 a month, which is, well, $49.99 a month, which is a steal because all the stuff you get in here is, like I said, valued over $200. So that is really amazing. The UK as well, so that's awesome. And this, the box is huge, you guys. So you get a lot of stuff and it's awesome. And I think this is really cool if you're somebody who doesn't, you know, you want to know what's out there, what's good, but you don't know what to try. You want to branch out, try new things, but you don't know about, you know, it. They kind of do the work for you and it's awesome. So, um, and use the code Mary Jane, like I said, for $10 off your first order. And yeah, I'm so excited about all this stuff. Okay, so basically I am moving you guys. Um, yeah, I'm moving and if you already know, if you already follow me on Instagram, you already know where I'm moving, but yeah, I'm moving to, drum roll please, Paris, I'm moving to Paris, alright, let's explain why I'm moving to Paris, um, so basically I was on the phone with my sister 
and we were talking and it's crazy because this is kind of the same way that I ended up moving to China like two years ago. I was on the phone with my sister and I was talking to her about a dilemma of mine and she's just kind of like, come to China, come to China, you know, and maybe it'll be a good decision for you and that ended up changing my life, making me a traveler. So it was a similar situation. I was just kind of like, Christina, I'm tired. Like traveling is my job now, which is amazing. I get to travel the world, take pictures, make videos about it and that's kind of how my job is this is my job and it's amazing and i love it but i'm tired you know it's so exhausting traveling place to place to place to place to place and not really having a place to live now i did recently move to japan i found an apartment i closed in on one i was ready you know i love japan everything was worked out but it's not a good place to live for my job at all. You gotta think about the map of the world, you know? So here's the world map. I'm gonna put one up on the screen. And basically the, I have an amazing job, so I get to look at a map and decide wherever I wanna go. And you know, I travel there as my job. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like, getting a house when you're buying a house near your job you don't want to live 200 you know you don't want to live two hours away from your job you want to live like 20 minutes away from your job so my job is the globe you know i need to be at a good place in the middle of it so i can travel anywhere easily you know and something i noticed is i know i've been to 103 countries i know about traveling I know about what are good airports, what are bad airports, what's a good price for a flight, what's not a good price for a flight. And Paris has one of the best airports in the world. Here's what I mean by that. I can get a flight to Paris from any country I'm in for super cheap. I can fly from Paris to Asia for very cheap. I can fly from Paris to America for very cheap. And I'm always going to fly to Asia because it's kind of like... I don't know my home base when you know like it's just a part of who I am Asia is a part of who I am and I'm always gonna go to Asia especially because my sister lives there she's always gonna live in Asia I think and I'm just always there so you know what I'm saying is I can get a flight from Asia to Paris super cheap I can get a flight from Paris to America where my entire family lives for super cheap I can get a flight from Asia or from Paris to Africa for very I shouldn't say cheap very affordable very easy a flight from Paris to the Middle East very affordable very easy Paris is a amazing airport it just has an amazing airport I don't know why maybe I don't know and it's right in the middle of the map it's kind of directly in the middle of everything you know it's you know, America's to the left, Asia's to the right, you know, it's just a perfect, perfect, perfect place. And me and my sister were talking about that. Um, I've been to Paris, the Paris airport like 10 times just because there's so many layovers there because it's such a good airport. So I'm like, it would be perfect. Me and my sister were like, all right, let's lay out pros and cons. I was like, Christina, Japan is too far out of the way. If you look at the map, it's all the way on the right side, you know, and it's not near anything. And if I want to fly home to the U.S. to visit family home, if I want to fly to the U.S., you know, it's a 17, 19 hour flight. And I just I don't want to take those anymore, you know, or take taking as little of those as possible is the best for me I save money um, and I have to think about where are places that I can take beautiful pictures for my job and where are places that I can take great videos make great content and still be at home that's Paris in Japan there's not I'm sorry there's not that many like Hokkaido is beautiful in Japan Hokkaido uh, Osaka uh, Asakusa Tokyo but after you do all that it's just like okay you know, it's not a great place, in my opinion, for me to take pictures, you know? To me, I'm not inspired when I'm in Japan to be like, oh, I'm gonna go out and get these creative pictures. In Paris, there's so many great places to take pictures. I can make great content for YouTube on Paris, in Paris. Um, 
you got to think about it, you know, like Instagram, YouTube, travel pictures, travel videos are my job. So I have to think of where are the best places to take travel pictures, travel videos to the population. Paris is that place. Paris is a place that I can be at home and I can also work, if that makes sense. So, yeah. I was like, you know what, why didn't this occur to me before? As much as I love Tokyo and it was always my dream to live in Tokyo, it's not smart for my job right now to live in Tokyo. I waste so much money on flights and I can never go there because it's so out of the way, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm moving to Paris. So what I did was I bought an Airbnb for like two months um, just so I can stay there until and then when I'm in Paris I'm going to meet up with like a, a guy who's going to show me around different apartments so that I can actually look at them before I purchase one. So I bought an Airbnb for like two months. Um, I'm not going to be staying there for two months. I'm still going to be traveling 99.999% of the time but I need a home base. I'm sick of not having a bed or a fridge or anything like I literally live out of my suitcase even when I'm here at my mom's house right now in New Jersey where I'm from I sleep on an air mattress like I'm sick I need a bed I need a closet I need I literally live out of my suitcase I've been living out of my suitcase for like the past two and a half years this life is tiring I need a home that I can fly to that I can put my stuff down at that I can put clothes in my closet, that I can make toast in my own toaster, and I can buy groceries, like, you don't know. So, it's gonna be Paris. Um, yes, I'm still gonna be traveling 90% of the time, or 99% of the time, but it's gonna be my home base. So, yeah, that's really awesome. I'm very excited um, for what's to come. I have no idea. What it's gonna be like i've been to paris many times you guys know that i have a ton of paris videos and even i've been to paris and not have vlogged it several times um yeah so i'm really excited i love paris um but living somewhere and traveling somewhere are two different so i'm gonna see how i like it if i really like it i'm going to live there probably for the rest of the year if i don't like it that much i'll probably do like six well, that would be the end of the year so I'm definitely gonna live there till the end of the year but say I don't like it that much I'm gonna move um, I will be returning to school soon I'll talk more about that later and stuff like that but 